Hello Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video myself and my son are going to be opening some more Star Wars figures, some older Star Wars figures and once again we've got lots of different ones from different lines, we've got some from the 3.75 inch black series, we have one from the Legacy Collection as you can see here, Revenge of the Sith and we also have a creature to open as well. Now what spurred us on to do this is that we've actually been sorting out my collection room. We've had to be really brutal on the choice of figures that we display in the cabinets because there's been so many new figures coming out recently that I just don't have room for them all. So basically all of my clone army for example, I've had to sort of whittle that down a little bit. So I've only got like a couple of each clones now rather than five or six of the same version. So. That's what we've been doing so we wanted to do this video to open some more figures that we do want to display in the cabinets and the first one up is commander Bakara. so if you do happen to enjoy the video don't forget to drop a like down below because that really does help the video and the channel and first up we're going to be looking at commander Bakara from revenge of the sith in the legacy collection so what do you think of this one little boss i think he's really cool because he's the leader of the galactic marines he is. This is a figure that I've wanted in my loose collection for a very, very long time. I've got two or three Galactic Marines and Commander Bakara was indeed the leader of that battalion when they assassinated Kiadi Mundi on the bridge. I think that planet's called Magito. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on that. But anyway, this figure was actually gifted to me by a Patreon supporter, Keith Guppy. So I want to say a massive thank you to Keith Guppy for this once again. Uh, this was gifted a couple of months ago now, but I've just waited to open it. And um, yeah, he's going to go great with the Galactic Marines. So this is the packaging for the Legacy Collection. He's There he is in the packaging. And this is part of the Builder Droid. So you get that piece of HK-50 there. And there's a little write-up of Commander Bakara there if you want to pause it and read up. BD-47 and there that is the scene from Revenge of the Sith when they assassinate Kiadi Mundi. Very very sad part of the film. Right then let's open him up and check out the figure and just to show you there is the body of HK-50 the builder droid. I think I've got some of the other pieces of this one maybe not all of it but I've definitely got at least one arm and the head I believe for it so um, yeah, maybe I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get the rest of that. All right, then, so here is the figure out of the packaging. And as you can see, it uses the old sculpt for the clone trooper body. Uh, he has the plastic karma, which is a bit unfortunate. I prefer a soft goods one. But this figure is what, from 2009 now? And I think it even uses an older sculpt from maybe even 2006. But it's the best that we've got. It's a great figure. Commander Bukhari is going to look great in the setup. And let's just turn him around for you. You can see behind there awesome looking figure and as I say it's just one that I've wanted in the collection for so long and why is that little Bosk? because he goes really well with your Galactic Marines yeah do you want to bring the Galactic Marine in? there you go so there's the Galactic Marine one of my favorite figures um, be awesome if they could update these guys one day but I love the way that they are very very similar to the Hoth snow troopers especially the helmet and there you go. So this guy flanked by two of those is going to look pretty awesome. So what do you think, little Bosk? I think they look awesome. They do indeed. All right then, so that's the Commander Bakara. And now we're going to move on to a Black Series figure. All right then, so next up we have from the 3.75 inch Black Series, Bastilla Shan, number 20. Now the interesting thing about this figure is that it's a straight repack from the version that you got in the Vintage Collection on that Expanded Universe card. Now what's bad about these Black Series figures, Little Bosk? The glue is really bad. Yeah, the glue on the bubble is notoriously bad and this one has fallen right off of the card. You can see there, I managed to pick this one up from Echo Live earlier in the year with two other Black Series 3.75 inch figures and two of them, you know, the bubble had fallen straight off the card. But I've never had this figure loose. Of course, as I said, she is in the vintage collection, but I've never had it loose. And this is the best opportunity to get it loose because the vintage collection version is so, so expensive. So if you ever want this figure loose, Get a black series one on the back of the card it says bastilla shan is a brash jedi knight during the jedi civil war that took place in the old republic era shan is especially gifted in the force power known as battle meditation so there you go 
and uh, yeah let's check out the figure all right then so here she is out of the packaging but still a shan from the 3.75 inch black series or the vintage collection either or really i'm not too sure if there are any differences really i think it is pretty much a straight repack but correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below but little bosk has got an interesting fact about this character the funny thing is up until ray from the rise of skywalker bastilla shand was the was one of the only jedis that had a yellow lightsaber yeah i think that's right i mean the only other characters that i've seen with yellow lightsabers are the jedi temple guards there may have been some others with yellow lightsabers in the history of Star Wars, but I don't know any of them. So um, as far as I know, it's just Bastilla Shan. And then you've got, yeah, as we know, Rey from The Rise of Skywalker. But the less said about that, the better, really. But this is a pretty good figure. It's quite limited with the articulation. She's only got the swivel hips. And if she's a Jedi, then really she needs ball jointed hips. Could do with rocker ankles as well. But it is an old sculpt. It's all the way back from, what, 2010, 2011 now. There she is with the yellow lightsaber. You can see her hair sculpt at the back there is pretty nice. She's got a little ponytail there with a bit of um, sort of detail on the band that's holding the ponytail together. And she comes with one other accessory. So what is that? The unlit lightsaber. Yep, it comes with the unlit lightsaber. And does it attach to her belt? Has it got a little peg on there? I think it does. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if that works. Yep, there's the peg and there's the hole. Let's see if we can do that. There you go. That looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't want her holding the lightsaber at the same time as the unlit one, but you can see how that works on that belt there. So she's pretty cool. That's the uh, first of two 3.75 inch black series figures that we're going to be looking at in this video and let's get straight on to the next one all right then so next up we've got another 3.75 inch black series figure and this time it's Dak Ralter or Ralter number 25 in the line and once again the bubble is completely come off and come away from the card now this is Dak Ralter obviously from the Empire Strikes Back in his snow speeder outfit I have one other figure in a snow speeder outfit which also came in the 3.75 inch black series which one's that wedge antilles yeah wedge antilles so basically in the vintage collection you get wedge antilles but he's in his x-wing outfit as far as i'm aware but in the 3.75 inch black series he's in his snow speeder gear so this guy is going to go very nicely with him now of course it would be good if we had a brand new luke skywalker in his snow speeder outfit as well to go with those you know to the standard that they've done the x-wing luke skywalker Anyway, we're going to open up this figure now, get all the accessories out and check him out. All right then, so here he is, Dak Ralta, out of the packaging. Really glad to have this one loose in the collection. It's a nice figure. Once again, the articulation is slightly limited, especially on the hips. You know, this is nowhere near as good as the X-Wing pilot Luke, for example. That, that figure's like next level. And of course, he has his plastic flight suit there, which does hinder him very slightly when you're trying to sort of sit him down on that, very much like the Bosk. Uh, they need to sort of make that a more of a rubbery plastic in my opinion he comes with two accessories so he's got this uh, rifle here and the blaster pistol which i think are exactly the same accessories that came with wedge you'll have to let me know in the comments uh, if that's true or not but what do you think of this figure little boss i like him because he has the skull cap that keeps his head protected under the helmet yeah he does he looks pretty cool doesn't he so you can see his face there and he is he's wearing that sort of flight suit skull cap i think they're called that anyway um and there's his helmet as well so this is dak dak's helmet there got the uh, rebel insignias on there and that fits over his head pretty well and then you've got the chin strap as well so that looks pretty awesome there doesn't it so really nice figure this one 3.75 inch black series also available in the vintage collection i think he was vc 07 or something around that number very early in the vintage collection and i'm pretty sure that this is exactly the same figure just repacked into the 3.75 inch black series so once again like bastilla shan if you want this figure loose then that's the way to get it because it'll be a lot cheaper than the vintage collection version it would also be really cool if you could get a luke skywalker snow speeder outfit with the spots with the snow speeder it definitely would yeah it's definitely a figure that i want it will go with these and there's loads of others as well from the uh, hoth battle uh, that i'd like to see in the vintage collection as well so anyway that's dak and we're going to move on to the fourth and final 
figure and it's not really a figure it's a creature and it's one that uh, we've already had in our collection but you know as always sometimes when I open figures my son kind of wants them and he ends up stealing them for his collection so this is one that I've had in my collection boxed for ages but now I've sorted my cabinet out I do want him to go with all my Hoth figures so that should give you a little clue of who we're going to open and of course it is the Wampa the Hoth Wampa now this is a really good Wampa I'm not too sure if it could be repacked straight into the vintage collection but it is pretty decent it's full of articulation this thing it is really really good the Luke Skywalker not so great I'm not going to use him at all he's going to be packed away it's from the Force Link 2 line and yeah you're going to be quite surprised if you haven't seen this figure already of how good this Wampa is so that's the packaging, enough said about that, and we're gonna open him up straight away. All right then, so here he is out of the packaging, just about to eat Bosk, and it is the Wampa. And it's a great Wampa, it really, really is. Full of articulation, which I'm just gonna quickly show you in a minute, because, you know, for a Force Link 2 figure, this is this is really, really good. What do you think of this figure, Little Bosk? I've got him in my collection, and I think he's the best Wampa out there. Yep, yeah, I would agree with that. He's probably the best 3.75 inch Wampa that we have. And as I say, maybe not 100% good enough to be put into the vintage collection. They'd probably have to do some work on the paint and everything to make him, you know, that sort of standard. But in terms of the articulation, this, this guy's got a lot going on. So you can see he's got swivels at the elbows there. He's got, uh, he's got the swivel hips, but he has knees. He has joints at the feet. They swivel. So loads going on with the Wampa and, you know, I think this is good enough to be displayed with uh, vintage collection figures in your cabinet. What else does he do, Little Bosk? His arm comes off because Luke Skywalker chops it off. Yep, do you want to show? And there you go. So this maybe is an area where they could improve it. You've got the red blood round there and you've got the same on the arm. That seems a bit basic to me. I'm not really too sure how else they could do that. But essentially that's, you know... It's not great the way they've done that, but it's a nice feature to have as a, as a play feature. And he's got the blood down his chin and everything. So this is one, as I said, that uh, my son, when I originally opened it, stole off me out of my collection for his collection. And uh, I finally opened one up for myself to go in my cabinet. So there he is. Good detail on the hand and everything. I really do like this one. He's a good, good, good figure. All right then, guys, thank you so much for watching. That has been me and Little Bosk opening some older figures once again in these videos. We had two 3.75-inch Black Series figures, which were repacks from the Vintage Collection. We had Commander Bakara from the Legacy Collection, which was kindly gifted to me by Keith Guppy. And now we have the Wampa Creature. And all of those are going to go into my collection. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching. And we shall see you in the next one.